So welcome everybody to the software development company. Ah, oh, sorry, that's the day job. Today we are going to a totally different topic, a channel with just one video. And I'm going to be talking about a lot of random nonsense. Um, connections, if you will, to music and the digital world. So let's make a start. So I'm going to give answers to what these connections are shortly and I'm going to provide a, a goal or an intention of what hopefully might follow. And that will depend on the response that I get from this video which I expect to be relatively small, but to me highly significant, because on the one hand it's an experiment, and on the other hand I hope it will provide me with a view of the way forward. And that should all become clear later. Okay, so the first left image, treble clef, represents my 10 years of studying music to a master's degree level. The second image uh, of a BBC Micro is the thing which drew me immediately away from a potential career in musicology and an obsession with coding which is represented by the third image. Sometime much later in the future the image on the right which is in Charleston, South Carolina is not so very far from the first Apple store that I went into in 2011. So what about the other images? Well, the iPad at the bottom, it was my first Apple purchase. And I discovered, although I didn't immediately use it for this purpose, that one could buy an app at the time, pretty expensive app, a subscription model app, or an app square, 99 cents or $1.99 or whatever. And this one was about $70 a year or something like that. So it looked like a crazy price. But in, in essence, it was a means of helping to fly an aircraft instead of using charts, compasses, rulers, stopwatches, and all that goes with it. It was essentially a GPS app with a map of the USA and every single kind of aeronautical information that you might want, including real-time weather and so on. So over a protracted period, having learned from scratch the theory and practice of music, musicology, music history, having taught creative music making for students who did not necessarily need any previous experience. Having taught myself to program before then going into a career in software development. And then having learned to fly a light aircraft and done so in England and many times in the USA, typically each two years. One of my first destinations after Florida was South Carolina, where my first Apple store was, my first Apple purchase was, and my immersion into the world of Apple, and in particular apps. And from here, we will make the next step to apps which pertain to creative music making and all that, that entails. And so to the real purpose of this video and potentially ones which follow, I just want to first off single out one person, Doug from The Sound Test Room on YouTube, who's done some amazing things 
he is one of many but um, for reasons that I won't get into I've singled him out today um, one small reason for that is I have a code that I've won out of his hat drawer for an iOS app and anybody I'm going to pass that on to anybody potentially who comments on this video I'll mention what the app is in the comments of this video and your chance to win it courtesy of Doug since I happen to have fortunately won the code twice from two different channels so for now I'm going to leave it at that and I will be following up recommending some superb YouTube musical creators for each of you to follow as you will. Thanks very much for watching and listening. Bye for now.